So first question I have for you, how does CSS bloat happen? Um, well, I mainly think it happens because we have some best practices which are actually causing harm. Um, some of the ways that we thought we should be developing CSS don't fit with the paradigms we've developed for all other kinds of code. And we need to kind of move CSS into being a, a proper you know, code, code domain with abstractions and, and, uh, and um, make, it, make the code more reusable. And people aren't doing that. So there are a couple key ways, and I'm going to talk about them at, the, at Velocity. But uh, the first two that come to mind are they get the granularity wrong. So the, the objects aren't at the right mm -hmm. level of granularity. And then the second is um, that they make them dependent on where they happen to be. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have something which you think is predictable, and you happen to put it somewhere else in the same page or on a different page, and it explodes or behaves completely differently. Right. So those are probably my two, my top two. Sure. Now, is it possible, or are there ways for multiple teams of people to be collaborating on CSS at the same time without it just going into, you know, duplication or total disarray? Um, it needs to be somebody's baby. Mm. So there needs to be someone who cares enough to watch every commit and see what's happening and how it's evolving. Um, mm. I think it makes sense. The, fee the domain itself is, is sort of growing, and we're able to have sort of entry level and, mm -hmm. and mid level, and then experienced sort of architect level developers now in CSS, but that process has to be, has to be managed carefully. Right, right. Yeah. So what's the relationship between CSS and site speed since we're at Velocity? Yeah. Um, I think CSS is the single biggest factor for site speed. Mm -hmm. And that's a sort of broad statement to make, but um, here are the two things to keep in mind. Um, the two factors that are going to affect site speed more than anything else are just the amount of stuff you're sending over the wire um, and the HTTP requests. CSS is responsible for a substantial portion of the kilobytes sent over the wire for most sites, and it's responsible for a large number of the HTTP requests in external resources brought in, uh, images and backgrounds and things like that. Mm -hmm. So when you take that all into account, uh, getting it right really does matter. So are techniques, CSS techniques from three or four years ago, are they still viable or should we all be doing something better? Um, I think we did a really good job on the micro level three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. So we figured out how to get things working cross-browser. We figured out how to make uh, all the browsers play nicely together when we're building tabs or when we're building. I mean, we had a lot of work just to be able to build these things. Um, and that was the foundation that we needed. But now we need to make all those little objects actually play nicely together rather than being sort of independent uh, chunks. So last question I have for you. What uh, changes or additions would you like to see to the CSS spec? Um, I would like to see more um, tools for architect level developers. Um, we need to be able to express the abstractions that we have in our CSS in CSS itself, um, rather than expecting us to have a preprocessor step or um, some other language layer. I want to express my CSS architecture in CSS, and I think that's the most important thing. So um, if we could be able to say that uh, you know, we have a nav, for example, and we have a left nav and a main nav, and both of those two navs have navness, whatever that is, right. without having to actually copy paste. Mm -hmm. We live in a, in, a, in a present moment where we basically CSS development is all copy paste. This almost does what I want, copy paste, <laughs> tweak, right. tweak, and that's not, that's not terribly efficient. So I'd like that to get solved. Great, well thank you very much for being with us. Really yeah. appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Sure.